Hello everybody. Welcome to the July 2013 Gaming PC Builds of the Month. My name is Corey. Uh, these builds are brought to you by NoobComputerBuild.com. I'd like to apologize first for uh, the late uh, video posting this month. Uh, it took me a while to post the article as well. What it was posted about a week and a half ago, but I thought, why not? Three quarters of the way through the month, but we can still get the July Builds video out. Um, I was just busy doing a few other things, moving to a new house, etc, etc, and uh, it took a while to get my equipment back set up, I'm not even using my usual microphone, etc, so I apologize if there are any uh, sound difficulties, but there shouldn't be, uh, I'm using my headphone, uh, my headphone microphone right now, so everything should be good to go. Alright, getting started. Here are the July 2013 Gaming PC Builds of the Month, the $600 build, the $1,000 build, and the $1,500 build. I'll probably post a few links on the side here so you can jump to the part of the video that um, you are most interested in, depending on your budget range. Otherwise, uh, let's get started. For the $600 build this month, I chose the AMD FX6300 uh, 6 core processor this month. Uh, the price has dropped to be about the exact same as the previous AMD FX6300. This is a 6 core versus the AMD 4300, which was uh, um, 4 cores. Uh, however, this seems to do actually a little better than the 4 core AMD 4300, overclocked or not. Uh, we can or we can overclock this one as well uh, to further increase the your performance. All right, moving on, we have the same motherboard as last month, the Picobyte GA970A DS3 uh, AM3 plus socketed uh, motherboard. Uh, just your basic board for $79.99, uh, USB 3.0 in the works, but a pretty good budget board. Moving on, we have uh, changed the graphics card to a GTX 650 Ti Boost Edition, 2 gigabyte card to fit into the budget we have this month, which is uh, the card comes out to $169.99. Uh, the RAM is an 8GB Corsair Vengeance Blue uh, for $64.99, nothing too special here, but 8 gigs should be the sweet spot for a uh, gaming build. 500GB, uh, the usual 500GB Western Digital hard drive, uh, should be plenty of space for a budget build. If you have a little extra cash if you want, you can up to the 1TB, but this should be good for most of you, uh, building a $600 gaming PC. As per usual, we have the Corsair Builder Series CX 500 watt PSU power supply um, for $49.99. It's a good budget power supply and is actually more power than we need. Uh, we're right on the dot, I guess, for uh, power needs here. And for the computer case, we have a budget case, the NZXT Technology Source 2 Tag Computer Case. I have used this before, however, I uh, chose the white one this month, $39.99 budget case, nothing too special, but it'll fit everything you need, and it actually looks pretty good. Uh, if you can find another case within this budget or lower that you can uh, uh, find, uh, that's about the same thing. It's a basic case, so nothing too special, uh, but it can sometimes come down to personal preference as well. And to uh, knock it off here, we have the Samsung 24 times SATA DVD uh, writable uh, reader DVD drive, optical drive. Uh, $15.98 this month, uh, relatively cheap, however, you could even skip out on this if you wanted, if you uh, could install your OS, say, via an external hard drive or a USB stick. Uh, either way, it's only about 15 bucks, And the uh, build comes out to about $612 this month. Keep in mind that I did write this article about a week and a half ago, so prices may have changed or fluctuated, but at the time, uh, uh, this build came out to 6 $112 on Amazon.com. Alright, moving on. We have the upgrades and alternatives for the $600 PC build. Uh, if you want, you can up to an 8 core 83, uh, FX8320 AMD processor. It's about $149.99. It was also reduced from last month, so uh, as was the 60 AMD FX6300 included in the build, so up to you if you have the extra budget. As well, the graphics card alternative could be the GeForce GTX 660 super clocked card as I have here. Uh, this comes out to about $203 and that can be a, a substitute for the card already included. Or if you want a little uh, spiffier case, we have the Cooler Master Elite 430 which has a blue LED, some more fans, a side window, etc. for $45.81. And like I said before, 
if you feel that you will need the extra hard drive space, we have the Western Digital Blue one terabyte desktop hard drive. Now moving on, here's the $1,000 gaming PC build for July 2013. Uh, the build comes out to uh, about uh, $1,013 as of about a week and a half ago, um, as prices may fluctuate. Uh, this is pretty good this month. Uh, finally have included the ha Haswell Intel Haswell processors into the build as they were new about uh, just over a month ago. And in this build, we have the i5-4670K quad-core Intel processor for $225.49. I do not include a cooler, but I would recommend a cooler if you're going to uh, overclock the heck out of this thing. However, this would push us over budget, and so you can either, if you're at this budget, save for one if you're going to overclock, or you wait until then. Um, the motherboard we include is the MSI uh, Gaming Series Z87. Uh, GD45 uh, motherboard comes out to $149.94. It's a pretty cool motherboard. It supports multiple graphics cards uh, and a bunch of uh, boat, uh, boatload of features, uh, as you can see on their website if you're interested at uh, game.msi.com. Uh, you can s you know go through all the specs if you want. It's, uh, they market their motherboards pretty well, and uh, they have a ton of information on this site if you care to go through it. Alright, moving on. The graphics card we have here is the Sapphire Radeon uh, VaporX HD 7950 uh, Boost Edition card. I have moved to the Sapphire version this month as it dropped in price uh, to $299.99. The RAM is the same as a $600 build. The Corsair Vengeance Blue 8GB, a uh, couple of 4GB sticks uh, coming in a package for $64.99. Uh, and here's the Western Digital Blue, one terabyte uh, hard drive uh, for $66.62. I do not include a solid state drive in this as it would push us over budget. Um, if you're interested, however, you can uh, check out the alternatives or the $1,500 build if you want to just add it onto this one. The power supply we have is the Corsair Enthusiast Series uh, power supply here. We have uh, it's the modular version, 650 watt uh, power supply for $104.99, great price, uh, more power than we need. The minimum wattage for uh, the Sapphire card is a 500 watts, so we've got plenty of uh, breathing room here. Uh, the computer case is relatively new, uh, Cooler Master Storm Scout 2 Advanced Gaming Mid Tower case. Uh, this comes out to $79.99, uh, which is a pretty good uh, price. Uh, f that's what, since it's a below $100 gaming PC case that's actually of a relatively high quality. Uh, this one includes a boatload of features as well, uh, as you can read below here in the article. Uh, and it was included in Tom's Hardware's uh, sub $100 gaming PC cases, and it was rated as one of the higher ones. Moving on, we have uh, the same optical drive, the Samsung 24X SATA DVD drive, optical drive for $15.98. Uh, for a total of 1013 bucks. Moving on for uh, the alternatives here, I have suggested if you want, you can add a solid state drive, $104, 128 gigabyte virtual M4. Upgrade the graphics card to a GTX 670 if you like for $329. Uh, you can add uh, Crossfire with another Radeon uh, HD 7950 graphics card for another th uh, about $300. Uh, or you can add a CPU cooler uh, like this uh, Hyper 212 Evo that I usually recommend for about $33.32. Um, and I would highly recommend this if you are going to overclock right away. Now moving on to the $1,500 gaming PC build of the month for July 2013. The price comes out to almost exactly $1,500 at $1,504 uh, getting started. This build will be great for extreme settings, uh, even up to 2560 by 1600 uh, resolutions in all, uh, most, if not all, games. Uh, starting off, you have the Intel Core i5-4670 Intel processor. Uh, just like the $1000 build, it's uh, the new Haswell processors as of what, a month, a month and a half ago. In this build, we include uh, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler for $33.99. As well, like to the $1,000 build, we have 
uh, the MSI gaming series uh, GD 45 Z87 motherboard for $149.94 like I said with the $1,000 bill uh, if you want to check out the features you can go to the MSI site and it goes through all the the bo uh, boot boasted uh, yeah, the most the features for uh, this motherboard, which uh, is quite a few. Uh, moving on, I include 16 gigabytes of Kingston HyperX Blue RAM for $126.96, uh, as well a one terabyte Western Digital Blue hard drive for $65.26, and paired with that we have the Samsung 840 Pro Series 256 gig gigabyte solid state drive for $236.95. Uh, 95 cents. It's be used as your uh, boot drive as well. Will inc uh, includes plenty of space for quite a few games you uh, may have to inc uh, increase uh, read and write speeds, boot speeds uh, for those games and your OS. Uh, the power supply we have is a 750 watt um, Corsair Professional Series uh, power supply for $119.99. And to finalize things, we have the Thermal Take Chaser at MK1 uh, full tower case for $129.99. The reason I chose this one is it's relatively new. I've used it before. It looks really cool. Uh, as well, it has a, a side window for viewing. I, I don't know if you noticed, but the, oh, I didn't even mention. I skipped right over the graphics card. Sorry about that. Uh, the graphics card we have is the MSI GTX 770, the new series of graphics cards out uh, about uh, around the same time as when the Haswell processors uh, processors were released. Uh, it's a great value for $399.99, but I also chose the MSI Gaming Series version. So not to be all matchy-matchy, but it does go uh, quite well with the, the MSI Series motherboard as they have uh, the same color and art on it, uh, as you can see the dragon, uh, etc. Um, and so, uh, overall it'll be a great looking build, and so you have a side, I included a side viewing window on the, on the case for anyone that uh, is concerned about that. And then finally, we have the Samsung 24 times uh, the same optical drive as the other build for uh, $15.98, and this makes the whole build out to $1,500.04. For the the additions and alternatives for this build, I include the Haswell i7 uh, processor, the 4770K quad core processor for $342. This could be an alternative over uh, the 4670K if you have the extra spending cash if you want. Uh, but for a gaming build, uh, the 4670K should be plenty. As well, we can bump up the card to the newer as GTX 780 graphics card for uh, $650 if you like or you can get a liquid CPU cooler for $103.99 Corsair Hydro series uh, cooler H1 H100i uh, cooler or you can also bump up the solid state drive space from the 256 uh, gigs to the 512 gigabyte drive here uh, it's the same uh, Samsung Pro series for $475 if you so wanted to well that does it for this month's builds I do apologize again for being late, and uh, however, I'm glad that I'm able to get this out there. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment in, uh, either on the video or visit the site directly at noobcomputerbuild.com. And uh, yeah, until next month, happy building.